Ahoy my friends, Ryder here and welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Today I am going to be showing you guys the last updates that I saw from the data mine and it does look like we have at least an order list or at least a more certain uh, view of which characters are going to be shown or revealed in the anniversary banners to come. Now. I do think I'm going to give my own kind of predictions going into this, what I think we might see, what we could see, what could be cool. So, but if seeing the future is not something you guys are interested in, this is a data mine video. So this is your cue to get out for now, but I see you guys in, in, in another video, but this is going to be spoilers or at least the attempt at spoilers since, you know, none of this is a guarantee at the end of the day. All right. So I'm going to jump over to the data mine right here. It's in the discord. All right. Now, right here, as you guys can see, and this dropped like a couple days ago, so I'm sure some of you guys have seen it before, the four anniversary characters are Cloud, Yuffie, Tifa, and Aerith. All right, so I did think that the majority of this anniversary would be with the girls since the boys had the six month one. So it does make sense that Yuffie, Tifa, and Aerith are here. It does also make sense that Cloud is heading it off. This is Final Fantasy VII, and it is Cloud Strife, right? So this, it looks like our resident data miner. This is the most likely order, right? And it does look like they also wrote Kate, Sith, and Sephiroth are probably the first event slash draw ultimate weapons. All right, now that is going to be interesting. Like, the fact that ultimate weapons are coming on separate banners is something that leaves me very weary, right? I feel like we already get tons of banners. It's already extremely hard to choose certain things, you know, and that's from me being a light spender. I can't even imagine, like, the amount of, like, calculation and stress going into the game as a free-to-play must be, like, astronomical in comparison, right? So, you know... It is interesting to see this. Uh, I wish that Cloud and Sephiroth were on the same banner for Ultimate Weapons. You know, that would have been, I think, better, at least for me. Um, but it does look like we're going to have two back-to-back -back banners where, you know, it's probably Cloud and Yuffie, and then Tifa and Aerith will follow. They, they typically open with a banger, right? So, like, let's take Monster Hunter, for example, right? Cloud, Zack out the gate cool costumes except for clouds a tiny bit but I, I still like it uh zax was awesome right we had Zenogre, we had glavinus the weapon for cloud was like something totally new and awesome you know it's it it struck hard right out the bat right but then what they always do is they leave the best for last every single time all right comrade wand was the last thing to drop that was the true gift of the monster hunter campaign celeb or celebration right just like in the final fantasy 9 crossover i feel like the kuja spirit blade was the true gift weapon of that collab as well not to say that the other ones aren't great they are great you know glavinus is still amazing kieran gloves are great zax and ogre blade is also amazing right but they always save the best for last because that's going to be the most tempting thing to pull on right and they tend to draw it out in these anniversaries, right? So, like, for example, in the six-month anniversary, right, and the Monster Hunter anniversary, the first banner that dropped was up for two weeks before the second banner dropped because they want to entice us as much as possible for us to spend our crystals knowing that what they're dropping after is going to be better than what they're offering at the beginning, right? So I want you guys to keep that in mind going into this, regardless of which characters show up. We know Cloud is going to show up, right? We know Tifa is going to show up at one point, right? So it is, I just wanted you guys to keep that in mind that at the beginning of this anniversary, you know, unless you have a ton of crystals saved up, unless you're a uh, whale or a heavier spender and willing to go harder on the anniversary, it's probably going to be best to hold off as long as possible to evaluate all the banners, right? So that's going to be my approach going into this. It's going to be super freaking difficult because I love Cloud, my favorite character in the game. He's dropping with a Bahamut garb. Um, it's just cool, and I'm curious to see what all the other characters look like. But it does look like these costumes are kind of non-elemental based going into this. And we are going to be fighting White Bahamut. I think there's a chance that we get like 
a higher level Bahamut quest. Like we get the ability to upgrade Mega Flare to level 10. Something like that. It seems like these, you know, attack all, physical command ability all, you know, non-elemental focused costumes would be best suited for fighting a souped up Bahamut. It does seem like the entire anniversary is kind of around Bahamut. Um, so we do know there's going to be a, the event with the white Bahamut. I, I think that there's a good chance we get an upgrade to the regular Bahamut as well, or the regular Bahamut becomes the white Bahamut, something like that. I'm not really sure. I'm just giving you guys my kind of overall thoughts right here. Now to take a look at more of the data mine, we have a rejector, lost number, and Gina talk will be added to the co-op rotation. That's pretty cool because a rejector I don't believe has been there before or lost number or the Gina talk. So that means tons of new crystals for everyone. So make sure you go out and get those first clears. And they have updated the season pass. Um, so this is a lot of stuff to look through, but I have, I have gone through this. Essentially from the regular season pass, you make 2000 crystals. From the, uh, from the premium hunts, you can make an extra 7,000. So if you pay for the premium pass, 13.99 a month, I believe US dollars, you, you make an extra you make nine thousand crystals just from that which is pretty damn good um it does look like they have upgraded it in terms of hopefully gill from what i'm seeing um it looks like they've added high wind boosters to it which is pretty cool uh it's going to be easier to actually see in game but it does look like overall it's had a buff to everything and i think that more or less concludes what we've had in the uh the data mine right here so for me i'm super excited to see i mean I, I i honestly think there's gonna be more banners in this i think if i had to guess i would say young angel is gonna drop with the new first soldier chapter right so we're gonna have that um there's a chance that when young angel drops his banner is a limit break draw banner like vincent's hopefully they combine them like they should have the last freaking time and that they kind of learned from that because i just felt like that wasn't cool um but you know if we're looking at cloud and yuffie on a banner that's banner one if we're looking at tifa and Aerith on a banner that's banner two if we're looking at kate and kate sith and sephiroth dropping the first ultimate weapons that's going to be banner three if we look at young angeal dropping from the first soldier that's going to be banner four Right? And I still earnestly, honestly, truthfully think that there's going to be a Banner 5. Right, So wait it out as long as you can. I don't know. At the end of the day, it's just speculation, guys. But I am curious to hear your own speculations, your own observations. A lot of you guys are right a lot of the time when it comes to your guesses. So I learn a lot from you guys and just reading your comments and just kind of talking to you guys. So I'm definitely curious to hear. So yeah, that being said, I think I'll jump into the draw. I'll do a couple tickets just to end the video. All right, I don't have that many tickets, right? So I have 52 regular tickets, not very much, I know. All right, so I'm gonna do only two, two ten pulls right here. Hopefully we'll get something good. We'll see. Um, but either way, I'm pretty freaking excited for the anniversary. I love that the, uh, the whole Bahamut theme I think Cloud could have done with, um, ooh, let's go. Is that Yuffie? I think it's Yuffie. All right, Hawkeye, I've been just getting a bunch of these. All right, so up to 430, I'm gonna do one more draw. But, you know, I do like the Cloud costume. I don't think it's his best looking costume in the game. I think they could have done with like less of a skin tight thing and more of like an actual kind of thinner armor. Um, that had like more oomph to it. There's a little bit more, you know? Uh, so, but either way, it is cool. It's, I, I like Bahamut, obviously he's my favorite summit, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what all the other costumes look like. I bet you freaking all the girls are gonna look so, so, so good, guys. Oh, all blues, killing me, you killing me. But yeah, that being said, guys, that is my general thoughts on the data mine, what the first banners will be, how to approach them, what we might be seeing, what we might not be seeing. And like I said, I'm curious to hear 
all of your guys' thoughts as well. If you guys are interested in joining a community of EverCrisis players, I encourage you to come join our Discord. There is a link to join in the description of all my videos. The Discord is called The Curseborn. We do co-op runs for players, crash co-ops, all kinds of stuff. Lots of fun conversations going on. It's just a fun community full of amazing, great people. So I hope to see you guys join. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis content. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.